Hi, this is Lennon. I'll be taking a look at Chromebricks from the store Chromebricks, which is a uh, large bricklink store that's based off in Germany. And they sell a lot of regular Lego parts, but they also specialize in making um, Chrome cutter Lego bricks. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is actually their newest um, release items that the owner has sent me to review. Um, mostly they consist of chrome red, which is a new color for them. And before, you know, they have lots of chrome gold, chrome silver, and they have chrome copper as well as metallic silver and metallic gold. And recently they just came out with this new um, chrome, uh, chrome red look. And um, I'm really liking this chrome red. It's a very deep, dark crimson color red. And this guy right here is actually the um, Lego VIP minifigure and um, it's a perfect look for him. The uh, hands are not chromed, they are just regular red. So I'm not sure whether they are unable to do so or they prefer to have the hands in um, non-chrome, just like the uh, Lego keychains. Um, in terms of the price, the smaller items, such as the one by one plates, are probably less than $1 and then um, some of the bricks usually are between a dollar and two bucks. Some of the uh, more interesting items, like the helmets, for example, they can go from about three bucks all the way upwards to uh, uh, more than five bucks, but less than ten dollars in general. Um, the more expensive items, like these minifigures, they will go for between fifteen bucks and twenty bucks. So that's just the uh, overview of how much they will cost. And um, in terms of their clutch power, again, Chrome Bricks has very high quality items and um, they fit just like normal Lego Bricks. There's actually no difference in terms of clutch when you apply them to uh, normal Lego parts. So let's take a look at the minifigure. And um, what I like about it is that they um, applied chrome red onto a red brick and same thing with the chrome silver ones they're on a uh, gray brick so they keep the color consistency when you do take off the heads you know it's not like you're going to get a uh, green torso or whatever exposed underneath so that's kind of neat and parts they fit the minifigure as well or do they it's a little bit tight and in this case as you see um, I can't pull off the helmet without removing the head of the minifigure so I'll have to find a way to remove that later and let's see that's the same thing for the other guy as well so if I want to put a withers hat on him I want to take it off yep the head comes off but in this case I think I can remove the head from the hat Again, the clutch power is a little bit tight here. I'll have to work on that later. And um, these parts are really cool and I haven't seen them anywhere else. They are two-toned chrome um, items. So I'm not sure how you did it, but the, um, the hilt is in chrome gold and then the blade is in chrome silver. So very realistic and uh, obviously very cool. And there's no problems with the clutching of the bars. I think it's only for the uh, minifigures and their head accessories that you might run into some trouble. And you know, the only um, minor gripes that I have, just the accessories, the headgear not coming off the head. But other than that, everything else is very, um, very high quality, especially, again, I'll praise them for their their um, chrome red color, which I really like. It's a really dark crimson. I just mentioned that, did I? It's a really dark crimson color. Um, looks very professional, looks very cool. And I'm um, sure they will blend in well with normal Lego bricks. Or we'll make them stand out. You know, the whole point of you spending a lot of money on chrome bricks is to have a creation that will stand out. So there you have it. So that's my review of the uh, new parts from Chromebooks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.